thing about it I'm gonna blow a little bag in there every time and I don't understand how I be spending so much money <laughs> I don't because girl every time I'm gonna blow that money in Ulta or Sephora and the price be getting to a place where I'm just like how we get here but I got some good stuff so I'm gonna give y'all a little haul when I get back to the house um and I tried some new brands so y'all gonna love that because you know, I love to I'm your homegirl to love to try the brands for you, so you don't got to do it. Okay? And that's on period. So, now I have to go to the dentist, girl. I got to go to the dentist and get my teeth done. Oh, Lord, it's the cops. Put y'all down. Girl, she is not worried about me. But, um, now I got to go get my teeth cleaned. And I'm going to be late because I pretty much spent more time than I expected inside of Alta, but you know it is what it is um lord girl not my low gas thing just came on say I need some gas okay I got a lot of things to do before I actually head out so okay I just need to get some gas okay girl so I got y'all situated now so I can drive so basically I'm about to go get my teeth cleaned well, I got my teeth clean, right? <laughs> Girl, I had a cavity. I don't know if I should not be saying that or is that like a really huge bad thing, but this is like my first cavity I've ever had in my life. And I'm 30. So, I feel like I'm pretty dang on proud of myself. But it was super small, so I'm like, okay, we're going to go ahead and get that fixed. I was not trying to come today, to be honest, but I was like, I need to come. And also, when they clean... Girl, when they cleaned my teeth, they only cleaned half of it because of something. So I got to come back and get my other half cleaned anyway. So whatever. But right now, that's what I'm on my way to do. I'm on my way to get my teeth done. Period. I'm going to ask the lady, can I record it a little bit? What is this? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I started getting my Apple Watch to work. My mama bought me an Apple Watch and I got it to work. And I'm like, what's this noise going on? But not, it's trying to be on the GPS too. It's okay, little mama, chill out. We already got the big GPS hitting on something. So I gotta go over here and try to find this. Cause I'm super hungry. Lady, don't be mad at me. Stank. A lot of stuff from Alta. Just because. I got some places to go this um, weekend, and I need to re-up on my makeup. That's one thing. Makeup is an investment, though. Because, you know, you're going to be giving body. Are y'all, like, slow winding, or you taking your time? Like, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to just keep going. All right, y'all. I'm probably going to see y'all. I don't know if I'm going to record it now. If they let me, I will. And not, then I won't be. But I'm really nervous to see how this is gonna feel. Cause I never got one before. But for all my girls that's um, got cavities and ain't got filled, I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I'm super scared and nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Honey. They did my mouth, and honestly, it's back leaning. Look at my lips. Girls, my mouth is super, um, super fresh. And girl, I'm out here at the store trying to find some fabric to match these shoes so I can do a certain type of little video I want. Let me back this up. So, I'm about to go join fabric. I don't even know why I came up with Michaels. I wasted my time, because last time I came here was nothing here either. So, yeah, I'm about to go head on over to Joanne's, and after that, I'm going home. 
I think I could have sworn I had somewhere else to go to too today. Okay. So I'm in Joanna Fabrics. I found the perfect color to match the shoe. Period. I thought it was gonna be more sheer than that. I'm not gonna get it. No more. Hey y'all. So let's talk about it because why I always got two different Y'all probably like, girl, the last clip you seen, you was like partially dressed. What's going on? Girl, let me tell you, I had to, um, I was like, you know, I want to try this. With one of my older wigs, I want to revamp it and see what it's going to look like. So, why not do it? I don't know if it's going to look a mess. I don't know if it's going to look cute. I can't even hold you. I don't even want to lie. Because I don't know. <laughs> I'm just hoping for the best. But, girl, I always get my, I got three of these. I got this one which is medium glow, I got beige glow, and then I got another one. Girl, so I was like, let me, let me spray these on here to see which color is my color, because I always get mixed up. Girl, clearly, what is this color? No, that's why my wig sometimes be looking super late and sometimes they don't, because it's like, girl, so clearly this the one. But, I'm out there here this wig. I really wanted to do something new. I'm so sick of like, you know how you just be like over the same old stuff? Like, that's me today. And I've been seeing so much news and stuff. So today's vlog is gonna be quite a good run, especially. So I'm gonna be using today my Isha glue. The girls from Isha. I'm gonna be using them. Now, I used to use this glue on a regular basis all the time, but y'all know I got into using the spray a lot. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Isha glue to lay the wig. And I'm doing super thin dots, okay? Period. I'm not trying to keep it too much on. Also, if you guys are interested, shop them. So y'all remember when I kind of went viral low key? This was the glue I was using because their glue is waterproof. That when I got in the shower, it did not come off. So with me working out, I definitely have to, you know, go back to my OG and see if she really gonna hold it down, which I know she will, because I had got that wig super wet. That's when it was, but um, unpopular opinion, I, and let me know if I'm the only one. When you put your wig, when you, Lay your wig and put your band on and you go to the gym and after you leave the gym, your wig be laying better. When people be talking about they leaving the gym and their wig be like coming off, I be thinking to myself, y'all got to be not tying it down. Because anytime I've ever tied my wig down and went to the gym, I promise you not, it literally be laid and slayed. Like, I have no issues whatsoever you know what i'm saying so i don't know the girl some girls be saying it though so put a little here so i'm just doing a thin layer um this is gonna be my in-between wig until i get to my next style but i'm definitely going to start experimenting with hair a little bit more than i was before because i had y'all know me i used to come through with them styles and do my thing but i just got so like mm -hmm. girl and let's talk about how impulsive i am because why? I came home with all that stuff and didn't even do a haul. I'm literally over here applying a wig. It's okay. Because I'm going to get her where she need to be. Girl, them ball cat, them thick ball cats be lucky if they see me again. I don't even know if I want a thick ball cap to lay my Mexican corals down without the lace. Period. Girl, that's probably the best little melt I done did in a long time. Look. This part still need to dry though, but I'm going through. I'm like, okay. Come on, Janet Glue. Cut it right here for right now. Because this is what it's giving. Okay, so we're going to cut it. I'm going to let y'all see the first snip, and then after that, y'all got to go. So I think... Since I want to hear, but this is not really fully dry, it's like kind of damp. I'm gonna cut it right here. Oh my god, girl, y'all like what? Okay, mm -hmm. girl, first things first. I know y'all about to eat me up talking about, oh my god, girl, you don't have hair scissors. I know, I say that to myself every time I do something. I'm like, girl, you ain't even got no 
hair scissors. But, I mean, because it's curly hair, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But the cut is actually coming out pretty cute. I think I'm going to have to cut around my um. I'm gonna have to cut around what do I wanna give? Like a little like shorter than ball. You know what though? I have clippers. I don't know why I just won't use them. See if I can find a picture of the style I'm trying to do. Cause I seen this girl with it on TikTok. But the company the company don't sell them. Okay. Girl, look at my little wig. <laughs> Let me take my edges off. Let me take this off. The um what is it? The little edgy band I got. Girl, she giving I cut my hair. She's giving hair cut. Let's see if I can fool the people, my close friends. Air dry. <laughs> you know, let me show y'all the back because I don't want y'all to be like, oh, she didn't show the back. <laughs> no, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it. So, I mean, y'all see what it's giving. I didn't do bad for me to have my little regular scissors. Do what? It's nice still. Live by the gun. Ain't no handouts for nobody. Ain't off me. Okay, your girl is here. Yeah, every year. So, yes, y'all see the little style or whatever that I did. The style. The styling. Yeah, so y'all see the little style or whatever that I did. The styling. It gave very much so. I'm trying to tilted a little just a little though okay so I'm gonna do two different things is this a glare on me no so how y'all like the look with the glasses is it giving I'm trying to let it air dry so we can really see what it gave because you know it's it can be cute while it's wet but what you gonna look like when you dry is you gonna give a little young man or is we gonna give like a little half tease and be giving a little side swoop or what are we gonna do you know, but whatever. I like playing with stuff, so girl, if it don't look right, I would just literally take it off. <laughs> but I feel like I don't hate it. But nonetheless, honey, I'm about to give y'all a little haul. I gotta give y'all a haul. I'm gonna give y'all a haul real quick on some items I ended up getting. Oh my God, do you wanna be in the haul? Come here. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. What you doing? You boy? You don't have nothing to do while I do my home. Hmm. I bought some stuff from Alta today and I also bought some stuff from Shein. Girl, I cannot get away from Shein. I'm sorry. But I'm not going to show y'all everything from Shein because I feel like honestly that just makes no sense. Um, It's just so much stuff. And I'm not trying it on. I'm just going to show you. What's wrong? What's wrong? Girl, you want them? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, oh, first things first, we're gonna go through my Alta stuff. I spent two hundred dollars there. They gave me a seventeen dollar credit. Yeah, they gave me like a seventeen dollar percentage off. Um, I, don't, I guess because I shop there a lot. So let me show y'all what I got. First things first, I was super excited about this. So this is Tree Hut Peach Sherbet. This is a Shea Sugar Scrub. I don't know if y'all like those kind of things, but when I tell you they make you smell so good. Like if you take a bath and then just scrub it and put it on as y'all after, it stick to you. It's almost like a lotion for the bath, you know? So I love this. It smells so good. I love peach. Like peaches, they always smell so good, girl. Like... I don't even know. It's just like peach and sweet and vanilla-y and girl, I haven't seen everything smell. It don't got no vanilla in it. It's just sweet. 
You want to smell? She loves smells. This the smell test. Come here. This the one who loves smells. Remember last time you were supposed to smell and you lick. Don't lick. She like. Yeah, she like that. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to link everything with my magic links at the bottom. Um, yeah. So, it's no cost. But honestly, the magic links are no cost to y'all. But I do get a pre affiliate link. It's an affiliate link for me. So, basically, if you buy from that link, I get a percentage. But it doesn't make it raise no money for y'all at all. But, look, shop at your own risk if you like to. Not your own risk, but shop at your own leisure, pretty much. So, I wanted to try Juvia Place. Um, I know that was in the media before. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not really too, um, up on the mess. Because I feel like it was some type of drama, but I was like, hey, it's black on. I wanted to try it, and it had, like, a whole bunch of foundations in there. So, I did actually get the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. Now, I got it in the color Somalia. And when I tell you I put it on my face, and it looked really well for me. I'm not going to take it out, but I will swatch it. Actually, girl, I'm talking about I'm not going to take it out, but I'm going to swatch it. Okay. So, uh, let's put it there. Also, somebody was like, do I know this is there? Girl, I don't know. Go back a couple vlogs, you'll see. So, I'm going to put it here. Because you know you're supposed to technically match your foundation with your neck. And she acting like she don't want to come out. Okay, Miss Girl. Because it's my first time purchasing from the brand now. Okay. So this is the color it is. I think it's going to match my face pretty well. <clears throat> my face is like... Yeah. Like, this is what I pretty much did. So, let's see that. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to match my neck with my new little tan, to be honest. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. But this is the new color I ended up getting. Because my color has been a little off ever since pretty much I've been to the Maldives. But I like it. I think it works. I think it looks well. So this is the color. But it matches my neck fairly well. So if you're the same color as me with like makeups and certain things, that might work for you. So what else did I end up getting? I um got these as well. These are some lashes from Juvia's Place. Now these is the 90 millimeter. No, eight. Girl, not 90. 18 millimeter maximum volume um, lashes. I really liked how wispy they was. They retail for like $13. I have so many different pairs of lashes in my house, so it was really no need for me to even get lashes. But I just wanted to try them out. Um, do I see a difference in cheaper lashes and lashes that cost a little more money? It depends. Yeah, for the most part, because sometimes the more expensive lashes are a little thinner on the band, but they are a little bit more thicker on the, um, actual lash. But that's the Nubian Lash Cleopatra. And then I also ended up getting this powder. Now... With all these colors, I did match myself because I feel like when I go get people to match me sometimes, they just don't put the right color on me. Like, starting off the bed, they just be like, and I be like, girl, this looks super ashy, but okay, yeah, I'm going to do my own thing. So, um, a new thing I've been seeing all over TikTok is that when you want your makeup underneath your eyes to set really well, you have to set it with a pressing powder before you do the translucent. So, I got this. Um, it looks like it fairly could be my color, but who knows? <laughs> um, but we're going to see. Because once I go ahead and do my makeup, which will most likely be tomorrow, I'll give y'all a full update. So I got the color, I don't even know how to say this, Nicaragua, Gua, <laughs> medium three. This is the color I got. So I'm going to use it as a pressing powder. So y'all know how you put translucent powder to bake? They say you're supposed to put a pressing powder on. I believe that's supposed to make it like set better and look better. So you know I was down for it. Now, um, I did get me my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I got a travel size one because I will be traveling and I wanted to take the small one. Somebody else asked me in my other vlog what was the spray that I had started using. And it was this grape water spray by Caudalie. And it works super well. It's just like a great hydrating spray. Also, you can use it as a replacement for your continuous spray. 
but of course you know I love the continuous spray they just was out of it so I had tried something new but I still got it so I got this one and then Morphe now has coconut bliss with is like a continuous setting spray um and it smells like coconut that was my first time seeing this so I was like let me try it so you know Yeah, it smells super coconutty. So I got this, I, and it smells coconut. It smells very good as well. I also re-upped on my Tarte Shape Tape. But girl, I kind of need to go ahead and... Um, they say Tarte ain't for the girls. And I did not know. I'm late to that show. I had seen something on TikTok. TikTok tell you everything you need to know. So I was like, girl, I need to go ahead and get me a new concealer. So if anybody got any recommendations, let me know. So I had just got the freaking Shape Tape. And then next you know, I seen something on TikTok. And I'm like, Ugh. after this, I'm going to really try to change it out. Because Shape Tape do work really well for me. But, girl, if they say they ain't for the girls, then we going to have to switch it up. And then um, this is... Buoxum. Now I remember back in the day I used to get those little boxes and they gave me like glosses and stuff inside of there and this was like a plumping gloss. So I decided to go ahead and get this again and I think this is going to be super good for my glosses. So you guys see how it looks super like milky pink. Everybody always be asking me my lip combo. This is new. Haven't tried it but I think it's going to fit in really well. And the color is, I mean the actual brand is the Buoxum brand and it's in the color or flavor or lip gloss shade pink champagne so pink champagne is what I got as well and then I also got the Nubian lash glue from who Juvia's place I don't know I need to stop using um lash um hair glue so that's why I ended up getting that so let me show y'all what I got from Shein I'm not showing y'all all this stuff but I will show y'all some of it so, first things first, I do, let me actually go here. First things first, I got this little set, and I've tried this stuff on. I just put it back in the bags because um, I wanted to keep it separate, and also I wanted to make it look presentable for y'all. But, basically, I got these set shorts. Girl, they got the booty scrunching on them, period. So, you know it's going to make it look like my booty is big, big. So, got that for sure and loving it and it gave <laughs> and then i also got the matching top to go with it love that too if you want some cute active wear i promise you shein is the place to be and i got this little strappy back on it and i also got a pink one as well don't have a clue where that one is but if i do i'm gonna throw it in here then i got this purse Ooh, she ate now i didn't know it was gonna be this small let me show you how small it is. Um, I'll put this little sugar butter in here. But, and you see it's pretty much almost full. <laughs> but, I think it's so cute. Now, I don't know where I'm going to wear this. I just really wanted it because I like the fringe look on it. But, it gave, okay. But, it gave, okay. Super gave. And then... And I also think it was super cheap. It was like $12. It was not expensive at all. Because y'all know when I'm going to shein, I ain't paying that much. I promise you that. Oh my gosh. What else did I get? Let me show y'all. I got this denim jean jacket. Such a vibe. Now I wanted a jean jacket that was like denim. But very sleek. Denim. <laughs> I wanted a jean jacket that was like denim but sleek. So when I wanted to wear my cute girl stuff, it was like still fitted and cute. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you want to go get your denim jacket on and then it's all big and bulky and you just don't still feel as cute. So I wanted this. Girl, I suggested. I think it was only $25. <laughs> Baby, get it. Some of this stuff I'm not going to show y'all because I am going to wear it very soon. I got like two returns to make two. So I got to go ahead and make those. Girl, this little watch be going off. Um, what else did I want to show y'all? Oh, I got this skirt. Now, I want to wear these with my Lambus sneakers. I think this is going to be cute. Period. With like a little cargo denim skirt. You know, you know the vibes. And then also, I got me some like, what's those pants? Those um, swishy, swishy pants. I got some in a medium. They make my butt look really good because they got a zip on the side. 
so it allows them to like fully be tight but not stretchy because they're not stretchy and they got a little scrunch in the back too so these is them uh, in love also got these shoes because remember i said i needed some new tan shoes god i got a bunch of random stuff i got these ones i think these is gonna be perfect for like my little bohemian vibe if i'm trying to slip out on the town real quick and i need some shoes that match I got these. And then I also got these shoes. They're like the little gladiator ones that wrap up. So I just wanted some chill stuff. So if I wanted to really wear something, I had something. Oh, and then I want to show y'all these pink shoes. So I had bought these black shoes in the alley. Oh, here's the other. Hold on. This is the pink version of the workout sets. I'm gonna actually put them together. But let me show y'all. I absolutely love these shoes. So I had went in the alley and I had got these shoes and they gave Versace, but they kind of was, they look like this, but they didn't cause they were super thick down here and I did not like it. So I really honestly only wore the shoes one time when I went to New York and I was like, I'm not wearing these shoes. I don't like them like that. But let me tell you, check my Poshmark because I've been uploading a lot of items on my Poshmark for super cheap. And if you want something as a bundle deal, baby, bundle it up, send me an offer and the most likely I'm going to accept it if it ain't crazy. So, um, I got these. My feet look so cute on these, like bubble gum bubble yum they look so cute my feet look so sexy in these but i can't show y'all right now because girl my toes look crazy i was walking up the steps the other day and fell and cracked my toe now so my toes don't look like they normally would look right now but you know whatever so my best friend said he's coming over tomorrow to help me pack so while we're packing, we're gonna go through and um, you know, pick fits and stuff. Well, most of my fits is design, pretty much. I just have to do some alterations. Oh, and I got this fit too. And then this is the last thing I'm gonna show y'all. Cause I'm probably like, girl, you was oversaturating us. So I've been wanting to wear a lot of sets that's like oversized but not stretchy kind of like linen-y pant look or that chic vibe or just a little flowy vibe the same way i wore them all these that green outfit so i had got these pants and this is them they was unbuttoned but this is them you see them and then i honestly paired them with this and it was like a vest so, you know, you can wear the vest closed or you can leave it open. I don't know how I'm going to style it yet, but whatever way I decide to style it, I know it's going to be super cute. So, those are like the main things I ended up getting. I got like a jumpsuit. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. And then I also got some bikinis and stuff. Um... But as of right now, that's what I'm wearing. And this jacket is so cute. If y'all don't get anything, get the jacket. Cause one thing about it, it ain't nothing but it ain't nothing like being an on-the-go baddie and the fit still eats. I can't wait to put these on. Okay. Cause I'm gonna be wearing them for the workout. So I got this. Cause I love to invest in my workout gear because it makes me want to keep working out. <laughs> I mean, I do work out, but I feel like, you know, somebody said it in my comments. Like, you got to give yourself little milestones with working out. Because when I tell you, sometimes working out can get pretty repetitive. you like, all right, girl. Is you going to lose some weight or what? If you ain't going to lose weight, at least put this new fit on looking good. You know? So, got that. But, hey, I love this too. And even though this is tropical, I'm not wearing this to nobody's beach. I'm wearing this to, like... I'm just going to wear it when I feel like it. If I just want to whip it out. Because I feel like it gives unique looking. So, uh, you will see her very soon. Don't you worry. So, I'm eating broccoli. And, um, salmon. With sweet potato. So, I just got off the phone with this lady. So, I had my surgery consultation. 
Well, basically, I tell her what I want done, and she recommend me the best doctors. Girl, she sent me a list. And when I tell you, I can't wait. Mmm. So good. Oh my god, that workout almost knocked me out. Let me show y'all. Cause we're One thing about it, the body is building. Y'all see my body? First things first, I want to say thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Brooklinen is a high quality sheets brand that feels as though you should have luxury in your home for a fraction of the price, as well as super high quality items to elevate the lifestyle of your home. And you guys know that's right up my alley because I'm on my soft girl era, so this is right where I need to go. And it's helping me tap into my grown woman era as well because who don't want clean good sheets on your bed, especially the luxury kind. One third of your life is pretty much you sleeping in your bed so why wouldn't you invest in having great sheets to change the quality of sleeping life that you have because I know I'm here for it I just moved into this new house so of course everything in here I told y'all I'm being very particular on what I place in my home and being with great sheets is like top tier on my list for number one because I sleep in my bed every night and you know I need to have that energy it's all part of my self-care myself vibe you know I'm actually gonna be putting on my bed Brooklinen's Luxe Hardcore Sheet Bundle. So instead of buying individual items, you pretty much can save 25% off of buying this whole entire bundle. So it already does the work for you. You don't have to go through and pick piece, 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 nothing like that. It already is in a bundle. So all you got to do is pick your bed size and then go with it. Now the great thing about Brooklinen is you can mix and match. You pretty much get started on the website. You go ahead and pick the colors that you want. You can also pick the size of your bed and you have 20 plus options to pick from so that's like super great because you know if you're a person that likes to mix and match this is perfect for you with me I like to keep it pretty simplistic especially my bed and very clean looking so I like to keep it all together I like to keep it all together and very cohesive and just a clean nice white and y'all know I wasn't gonna let y'all get out of here without a code so all you have to do is use my code glamazante to get $20 off and a hundred dollar offer so make sure you go ahead and use glamazante to get you some money off honey and save you some coin i ain't gonna lie sometimes when i go i do be trusting a sales associate to see if they can color match me but this time i was, remember i told you i did it on my own and it worked out well also oh my gosh i forgot to tell y'all so i definitely ended up yesterday not coming back on here because I ended up taking a bath and relaxing. This smells super good. And I feel like it's blending. But I'm like, is it going to oxidize to another color? So we're going to see. But I only did two squeezes because I was like, I don't need that much. But honestly, I could have probably did one on my hand and just spread it out. But, um, girl, I did a consultation. told y'all this honestly I mean so far so good I feel like it's blending out but I also could see how it could go to be too much I think moving forward you know I don't really do cakey I do like a little light just pretty beat I think I probably will only need one pump now I'm um, next. Oh, I look super tan. I don't know. I feel like it looks like my color, but then I feel like it looks super. Do it match. Tell me. Let me see. I don't know though, <laughs> because I gotta do the rest of my makeup and see. So that's really gonna let me know. So I'm gonna do my concealer and stuff to see what it look like after I do all those things. 
but I ain't gonna hold you. So y'all know I normally use my Dior. This is way affordable, more affordable than the Dior one. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I did my makeup. I will say honestly, I do like the Juvia's Place makeup because it, from what I can see on my camera and my mirror, it kind of makes my makeup definitely look a lot more smoother. I'm trying to wipe this powder off, this extra powder. But I feel like it makes my makeup look a lot more flawless because the base was so much more, a little, it seemed like darker. Um, so when I put the lighter colors on, it just blends. So right now, I'm going to say I like the foundation. It is super um, thick coverage. The only thing is I feel like that you should... I use I use two squirts. You probably should only use one squirt. Maybe half a squirt, half a squirt. Like one squirt. Like so I can see me using it. But it's I'm using it a lot more, but it's super cheaper. Cause I feel like with Dior my foundation should be like fifty dollars. So this is literally only like I think twenty something dollars, twenty seven. So I recommend it. The pressed powder didn't really work for me because it was too dark. So let me see. The foundation. Yep, $23. So that was super good. I feel like it was great. For a, a new fresh beat. Period. So I'm about to do this video now. I have to do a um video for Vu Glam. Y'all know I showed y'all them. I never got to do the promo because I've just been so busy. So I'm gonna go do that and yeah. We'll get that done and i don't know after that i just been all over the place so let's take this show downstairs i don't know which y'all been so bitch i know what's up what's happening look at denim 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 you want a treat denim is she asleep oh my little baby okay Hey, girl, I'm not you gonna get up when you want. How? Me and my little post man, we having a disagreement. So basically, my post office man that comes and delivers my mail, he seen me walking around the um the community, but he didn't know where I stayed at. And he was super pressy trying to get my number and stuff. I gave him a number. My I gave my text free number. Never responded. Cause I knew I wasn't gonna talk to him. I'm like, whatever. But I just wanted to kind of be. I didn't want to like turn him down in his face. But I gave my text three number, and girl, I never text him. Girl, why? This man is being so petty. So it's my car parked out front, and then it's somebody else's car like parked there too. But it's like the mailbox has open space. Like it's so much open space. But, because I, I know for a fact you're not supposed to park in front of the mailbox because that'll be like, the mailman won't be able to deliver mail. So, girl, this man got my number, my little text-free number, months ago. Never got a response months ago, right? Girl, why? The other day, ooh, snap. Mind you, the park, oh, hold on. Ooh, I'm trying to like. Mind you, the parking situation has been with the parking situation has been since I moved in. Besides my funky neighbors next door getting on my nerves, it's kind of always been the same. So me parking out front. Girl, why the other day he for the first time seen where I lived at? Because when he tried to talk to me, I was walking. So he seen where I lived at for the first time because I was on the porch. And when he looked at me, I looked at him, but I ain't say nothing because I'm like, I don't want to talk to you, sir. <laughs> you know? So, with my text free, though, I went to go look at my text free because I be forgetting about it. I really only got that number for when people ask my number and I don't want to give it. Girl, he had been blowing it up. Why in the world I went to go, why he see me sitting on the porch? And... Well, let me tell you how it really happened. He was coming up. I was getting out of the car. And I was like, shoot, he gonna see where I live at. But whatever. So I get out. I go 
in the house. By that time he had already seen me, but he was back there delivering a couple packages. So then I came back and was sitting on the porch. Girl, so he sees that I live on sitting. He see me sitting on the porch. He looking at me, I'm looking at him, but I'm just like, whatever. So we didn't I didn't say nothing. I just act like I didn't know who he was. Girl, why this man the next time which happened, I believe, if not did it happen yesterday? No, it happened the day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. Because I was going to get on the blog and tell y'all about it. Girl, why I literally... He seen where I live at, remind you. Two days ago. Why today I come outside and he put a notice inside of my mailbox that basically said... Um, what did it say? It said if someone's going to be parking out front... if Like, if the car is going to be parking out front... He said basically my car was blocking the mailbox so he's not going to deliver my mail no more i've been parking in the same spot for almost two since i've been living here three to month four months whatever so now that you see i live out here you're going to leave a notice so you know me i'm petty i text him off my text free and sent him a screenshot of a picture of the ticket and i said what is this because i know daggone well my car is not blocking the part the thing he gonna say your car is blocking I said no it's not I've been parking in the same area he said I should be able to drive up to the mailbox and not have to get out and walk literally like this far from the car like it's a good distance like a couple feet I'm not even holding you girl this man had literally put on there that he is not going he gonna stop delivering my mail on the 13th I said oh your petty lame ass found out where I live at so now you want to take it upon yourself to um so you're not gonna deliver my animal because my car is in front of my mailbox but I've been parking in the same spot only difference is now you see where I live at don't worry about it because number one why I literally went and found the number for you SPS and I'm gonna call his cuss I'm gonna call his supervisor and I'm gonna get all that dealt with because stop it girl and me and him was in the text message going back and forth back and forth back and forth I was like I've been parking there I've been parking there. Then he tried to say the car in front. He was like, um, that's your car. Like I said, that is not my car. I can't help who parks in front of my house. If somebody parks in front of my house, I can't help that. It's nothing I can do about that. So you're going to stop delivering my mail because I'm parking where I've been parking. And then somebody new is parking on the other side. So how are you going to stop delivering my mail? Girl, he just came up with that shit out his ass. He came up with that out his booty crack. You hear me? But I was like, you know, I'm not even worried about it. Cause I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. But anyway, so I gotta go up here. I'm gonna forget the cash check. So I'm like, let me go do it before I forget. So I'm on my way to the bank. And then I'm going over here to this altar because, remember I told y'all, the pa pressed powder didn't work for me. So I'm going to for surely return it because I need things that's gonna work. And I'm the type of person, if I don't return it now, I will hold on to it and just have it and then be mad because it's like, I can't return it no more or I'm out of the time frame. So, let me handle that while I can. And then I'm going to go back to my house. I'm super hungry though. So, I'm going to have to give me some type of little snack. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want to eat. But I need some type of little snack. Something. Baby, I'm hungry. Oh, snap. Girl, I almost missed my turn. Put it on the... And then I need some new press ones. It's a lot being a lady. You know that? I would the hell park like this. Hello, everyone and how are you doing today? So I finally made it back to my home and I wanna show y'all some things that I purchased. I also want to show y'all some Amazon stuff that I thought was dope as heck, okay? Let's start with the altar and get out of the way. So I went back and got these press ones. I have a million pairs of press ones, so I don't even know why I did that, but I did. I'm gonna put them on tonight. I also went through and got another press powder Actually, I'm going to test that out and see if it even looks right because 
it can look right. It look not look right if it wants to. I'm taking it right back and I'm not doing it again. Okay. Let me take it out a little mirror right here. So let's see. No, honey, this might be a little ashy. I mean, but it blended. Look. Y'all see it? And then I just blend it out. To be honest, I just took a moment to realize my makeup looks super nice and good and clean today. Super like, bomb to be honest so yeah i guess i did find the right pressed powder so this is the color cairo light this is what i'm using underneath i just put underneath my eyes for the pressed powder so i gotta do my makeup tomorrow again because i gotta film some more but you know y'all got the gist of it so let me show y'all some bomb stuff that i got let me show you some bomb stuff y'all know i love to show you show the girls the stuff that's bomb and do so, um, I got that. I also got a makeup pencil for my eyes. Because I've, I've been using my lip liner pencil for my eyes because I haven't had any. My pencil ran out. So, I didn't, I didn't re-up it. So, that's why I'm with that. So, let me put those away. Because I'm taking those upstairs. Now. The girls would have been way far. Okay, so I got this. Well, I got it as a gift for somebody, but it ended up being such a bomb gift. I was like, <laughs> I gotta buy myself one too. My hair looks kind of crazy, but don't be out of my. So I was like, I gotta get myself one too. I don't care. So I ended up getting this. A Sony. A Sony camera. So it's basically a camcorder. Period. Because one thing about it, the girl loves it. So, it's like a little camcorder, like, you know, back in the 90s. It's Sony. Um, it's, it's it's okay quality. Like, let me actually turn it on real quick so I can show y'all. Hold on. Oh, I do. No, it's on. Now I got to hit start. Oh. So, it pretty much is okay quality. Clearly, it's like old school. Like, you know, so it's camcorder vibes. But... Girl, this is going to be so cute. I feel like it's going to give, like, girls going wild type vibes. So, I'm super excited for it. <laughs> like, what? And then even, let me turn it this way so y'all can see it, too. Like, even just looking at little stuff. Denim. Come here, mommy. And then it has a little zoom on it, girl. Hey, Bookie. Hi, mommy's talking to you. Hey, Denim. Girl, what? And it's so lightweight. Say what? Like, go to Super Bottom. So I'm like, okay, period. So I got that. And I'm like, okay, it was $200. And at first I was like, eh, I have been on online looking all night. And they also have cheaper alternatives. They have one that's up there for like $60. Super cute. Um, but I don't think they're long lasting and longevity wise. But when I tell you, come on now, a camcorder. So I look, I tested out for y'all. So it's a video test, clearly. Um, the sound is okay, but it's not like the best. But I feel like I got it for when I go to Swede so I can do like a girls going wild type vibe. Like filming everybody in the pool and talking crap and just in the car doing blasey blasey, like stuff like that. Like I feel like <laughs> I just keep doing the most with it, period. And I love it. So, yeah, that was like $200. So, I was like, okay. Got it off Amazon, though. So, it's super cute. Also, if you're looking for a gift to get somebody, I feel like that would be like a super cool gift to get a person. Like, it's just so nice and different and unique. So, that's one gift I thought about. Then, also, I ended up getting this. Girl, I know I'm late to the game, but I don't care. Like, I feel like I'm just late. So, y'all know I work with a lot of cameras. Like, most time when I got my cameras, I'm trying to get my pictures. Or most time when I'm on this, trying to get my footage. So, influencer, upgrade your life, this. Now, I have one of these, and it's a connector that connects into my 
computer. It's an SD card reader. So you can't film nothing on a video, on a camera, without having an SD card. So more than that, I'll take the SD card, put it in here, and then plug it into my computer. And it just works for that. And then if I want videos or photos, I'll like have to airdrop them from the actual computer. Girl, I minus that whole step out by buying this for like $10. And it's an SD card reader, but it's perfect for like, um, what is it? Like video. I mean, perfect for your phone. <coughs> so everything I'm filming right here, I literally can put the SD card in here, plug it into the phone. Then you have to go to like on your iPhone. I don't know where you have to go on Droid. But on your iPhone, you have to go to a thing called um, Files. And then basically you get all your footage and just download it from there. Literally, you're taking it from the SD card straight here. I don't know why I never thought about this. But when I thought about it, when I was buying this as a gift, I was like, how they going to get it? Because they don't, they be on the computer, but they don't be on the computer like that. I'm like, this is more for the phone. So that's what I did. And blase, blase worked out perfectly. Boom. So then let's get into the cute little beauty stuff. So y'all know about the little Van Cleef stuff. Everybody be wearing it. And that stuff is super expensive. Van Cleef is like, I don't even want to hold y'all. Let me Google it. I think it's like $2,500 for a Van Cleef bracelet. This thing said a Van Cleef bracelet, $4,200. So everybody you see with them dang on bracelets, you know they is not real. Ain't no way. They paying $4,200 for the bracelet. Anyway, I went on Amazon and got the bracelet, the earrings, and the mother freaking necklace for fourteen nine nine. <laughs> oh, I think it was thirty. Was it thirty? I don't know. It was cheap as heck. Girl, look at it. So just know when you just know when you see mine. Don't say nothing, but you know what it know. Don't say nothing, but you know what you know. Period. Cause like I said, I'll pay. Look, y'all see me buy Chanel sneakers and y'all see me buy bags and stuff. I'll pay if it's something that's like mm, I really want it and I really want that experience. But I'm not paying forty two hundred dollars for no bracelet unless I'm Nicki Minaj, and that means I have Nicki Minaj's money, okay? Because I don't care. But f look at it. Oh my God, super cute. Also, I want to show y'all the real one over here. And then look at the necklace. Oh my God, I think it's gonna look so nice and cute and simplistic. Honey, look at that, that's actually kind of cute. Like, I like stuff. Y'all know I'm on my simple stuff, so I was like, I gotta get it. So they had different colors as well. Now I will say before you just go crazy, you know, go on the website and make sure that color is actually a real color. But other than that, get it. So, girl, I ended up getting this whole little set. And also, if you guys are interested in getting anything that I talked about from Amazon, you can get it off my Amazon store. It's always linked below. All you got to do is click the link tree, and then it'll take you there. Because sometimes when I put the link, it don't work like for me exactly. So, I don't know. I have to keep putting the link tree. But, yeah, I got that. So, I was like, okay, yes. Then, one of my outfits I'm wearing, um, I bought me some little booty shorts to go with it. So, when I start twerking, my booty's not out. See, I think it's a hair for when I want to dance and shake it. I think I showed y'all the pink, the pink dress either in my last haul or my last video or this video. I don't remember, but one of the two. So, I got that. So, it gave very much. I'm super happy with my little purchases. And then somebody has sent me the gel X nails. I bought them for tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm going to actually um, put them on yet. They supposed to come in tomorrow, but I'm putting some nails on my nails tonight because I can't, like, not. Because, like, I wanted to go eat Chick-fil-A today. I really wanted some grilled nuggets, but I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it because you're breaking, you're breaking protocol. But it's time for me to eat dinner anyway, 7 o'clock. So, things I like to snack on. These things right here. I love snacking on these. They're healthy, too. They're super healthy. Um, I don't know if y'all like cottage cheese, but if you don't like cottage cheese, a good substitute would be yogurt. These are bomb, and they have like cherry filling at the top. Let me show y'all. So it's cherry filling at the top, cottage cheese at the bottom. Super healthy, love them. Um, I will also eat. 
vegetable trays. Let me show y'all. I eat vegetable trays, so they have like different things inside of it, like carrots, celery, tomatoes, um, green beans. My favorite is honestly the broccoli and like you see the broccoli back there, the dry broccoli and like um, a little ranch and then tomatoes in the ranch. Carrots be cool too, but I more so like the broccoli and tomatoes. They're super good. And then also. I love fruit, so I eat a lot of fruit. That's what I snack on also. And then, um, hi. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mommy. Ooh. Why was she going there? Girl, you don't even go in there for real. Ooh. You being stank. Why are you being stank to your mama? Girl, we could come right up in your little house if we wanted to. Denim, stop acting cute. Girl, Denim ain't pulling with us. Boop. Hey, Denim. Girl, you act like that's your real mansion. With your Chewy Vuitton. Oh. What is it? Now she getting her little toy, girl. Did I be in her own work? Honey, because the Brook linen sheets last night they gave. Honestly, I felt so good this morning. And honest, I think it was partly because I was tired, but these sheets feel super soft. And I can really appreciate it because, baby, they ate me up last night. They swallowed me up whole. <laughs> hey, everybody. I just came back from the gym. <laughs> So I wanted to cook something real quick. So I was thinking, I was like, you know what, girl? Cook you an omelet, child. So that's what I'm doing. Let's see if y'all can really see. I was like, you know what, girl? Cook you an omelet. And that's what I'm doing. But I'm using egg white, cilantro, cut up turkey, cut up bacon. I mean, cut up turkey, cut up, what is this, onion. Um, a little cheese. I wanted to put tomato in it, but I don't really have any small ones, so I'm going to have to use this big one. And hopefully it turned out cute. I think it will, though. Cause I, let me tell you something. I love a good little, a good little meal. Cause I had, let me show y'all what I got. The egg whites that came. Okay, I guess I'm putting tomato in here too. Cause it diced up. I was like, is it gonna dice up? So I'm using this. Natural egg whites. So I'm gonna put y'all over here actually. Cause that'd be a lot better for the camera color. Oh my God. Went so well. It went so good. I ain't even holding you. It went so good. But after I eat, I have to do like two or three quick things. Okay. Dang, I'm like, sheesh. So I'm gonna use this. Oh, I guess I never opened it. Something in my pen. Period. Mm, I like how much this come out. Period. I'm using some canola oil. And then I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the pan. Sprinkle some of this in there. Let me work fast so y'all can see this. I used to, oh Lord. I probably used too much to be honest, but oh well.
and then here it is for y'all. Hopefully, I don't think it look like too much. If it wasn't so cilantro, it would be perfect. It's actually not bad. Let me start there. It's not bad. It's just super heavy on the cilantro. Clearly, because I put dang near the whole thing in it. But you know what the problem is? Normally when I cook with cilantro, I don't taste it at all. So, I guess that's why I OD'd it, but I taste it now. But it is good. Mmm. I think y'all should try that because egg whites are super way more healthier than like regular eggs. Girl, not my face slimming down. My face looks skinnier. Am I tripping or is it me? Girl, right now I am doing my makeup. Number one, because I didn't take a good picture for my thumbnail yesterday. And also, I want to do a video on how I style my outfits and what I actually do. So, we'll see how it come out. But let me tell y'all, so I've been watching this new show on BET. I think it's called BET Plus called the team the Tima. Girl, I just realized the Tima is from Zach and Fatima. But girl, let me tell you, at first I always pass by because I'm like, this show probably ain't gonna be good. This show's probably not gonna be good. And I actually was supposed to go to the premiere of it in Atlanta and I ended up not going. So why I was like, you know, I wanna just see what this show is about. Cause I really feel like it gotta be something going on with it. Girl, I watched the whole thing in like three days. All the seasons. I think it's a good show of like black couples. And it's not so whitewashed. Like, it really showcases to me how couples be. He just got out of jail. She's a lawyer. And then they just be going through their stuff. She be thinking he be cheating. He be thinking she be cheating sometimes. But then at the end of the day, it's like, I know you really not. It's just my insecurities. So, I don't know. I think y'all should definitely check it out. It seems like a really good show. Though, so far. So good. From what I've seen. But, if y'all looking for a new series to watch, that's good. But I need some new movies. Because y'all know right now, BMF is not on. I'm waiting for Raising Canaan. Oh, Power just dropped a new episode. I'm going to probably watch that tonight. And, yeah. And we're gonna see. Girl, I really put this on my lip like this because I know daggone well I did not shave because I'm gonna shave next week. But it made my lips look so bald. Girl, like what? Honey, I'm doing the same makeup routine I did yesterday. I don't know. This is looking a little ashy. I might need to fix this. Because, honey, I be messing up on my makeup, too, sometimes. I ain't going to hold you. And act like I don't. I just don't like the way that look. Okay, so I just did my hair. Um, Girl, I'm trying to do this video. And look at my closet. It's so dirty. So, I got to kind of low-key clean up my closet. But I got so many clothes, like, I'm super excited. I think the video is going to be a fun video, too. And I also think I'm going to have to shoot it on this camera because it's wide. And, yeah. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. At least the lighting is pretty good, though, to be honest. So, girl, when I tell you this closet has so much stuff in it. Probably gonna take me like, 
minutes to really get in a place to start filming because I had to put this stuff back then once I put it back or clean it up and get it out so let me actually just move some of this stuff you know what? I could just do it tomorrow I mean not tomorrow later tonight some of this stuff Look, best friend. best friend is here. He talk about the meal prep smell good. Have you? Uh, yeah, the meal prep smell good. <laughs> why, why do, I told her that downstairs. Don't get on my fucking meal prep. You be talking shit, bitch. Okay. When I when I want to eat. You ready? <laughs> he be talking crap when I want to eat my meal prep, but now all of a sudden, oh, it smell good. It smell real good. Look, she said last time she didn't put a lot of salt in. I said, girl, after I was putting salt on every single one of my meals, so you should have put some salt. Yeah, but she put salt, salt this time. Salt is not good though. Tara, I don't care. That salt is not good. I want to eat it. Well, okay. I was putting salt on my own when um after she freaking would make it, I would put it right on my little dish. Period. Okay. Let me. This your last week of meal prepping? Yeah, because my trip is after this. So then after my well, trip. Well, you're not gonna be. At, so did you tell her that you um that after? Which oh no, well I'm, this is not gonna be my last time. This is I'm not gonna do it every week though. Probably. I'm talking about like this week, because you know your trip is just Yeah, I told her about my trip. So what she's doing. So after that, I'm literally not she only doing it until Wednesday. Right, but is she cooking it she cooking it from today to Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. And then after I come back back, look honey, I went to this surgery consultation and the lady told me like I should go to the Dominican Republic. She gave me some good doctors and she also was like, I don't need to lose more weight. So I'm gonna lose more weight because summer and get toned, but then I'm gonna probably gain it, not gain it back, but just stop eating as healthy, and then gain, I'm probably gonna gain it back, so and then I'm gonna just get my body done again. I don't care. You know? Right. So how do you feel about that? <sighs> Whatever works, your vote, honey, I'm so serious. But um, getting your body done is something I always said to do. <laughs> Period, because if a bitch want it, a bitch got it. And if they, if they got the money to do it, do it. Period. Okay. Okay, so these are the shoes that I made, but Tara gonna tell me if they get church lady. Do the shoes get church lady? They get church lady, don't it? With the bow. It do? With the bow. But the girl on the west side, she rocked you gotta show it. Me. You gotta show me the girl with the bow. I gotta show side. you. Okay, because that's why I have not actually um, put that bow on there. You see my phone out there? Is my phone out there? Cause I want to show you cuz see and that's the thing sometimes you can pull inspiration but then it looked like not like the girl was giving oh here it is so let me show him and see what he say come here look at this oops that's the thing you'll pull inspiration and then it might not look right so you got to try all this on oh, no, denim. Come here. dang denim Okay. I know you're going to say it look cute on her. Because it do. Okay. Look at her. Where the freak is the picture? See how she did it? It looks super different. Oh, yeah. You think I need to put it all on together? Yeah. So you can see? Mm -hmm. Nobody takes him serious. Look at him. Oh, Tara! Ah! <laughs> Get out of my face! Oh, not the swing. What you think you giving Beyonce? Yeah, she know her tour came up already. Oh my God, how you feel about seeing all the new I'm images? I'm ready. I'm ready for her. I think she looks so good. But um. But do you, I feel like she might change the core up a little bit? Cause no, she not. Cause her foot, her foot, um, she got foot surgery. So why, you, was it? Was they not allowed to record in the shows before? That you can, but you're not supposed. To, you're not. She wants you. Any celebrity wants you if they're doing tour. They don't want you to be um, recording them while you're looking at them on. Cause they want you to enjoy it. Yeah, true. But you want to get your film and all that type of stuff. Yeah, so. it's just going viral all day, every day. But she, um, you can tell, you can see her, um, her tour, her heels are different. 
Oh, uh, our well, outfit's well, gonna be different regardless. One is more clunky. One is more chunk. It has a chunky heel, and then the other one has a skinny heel. That the one that got the chunky heel is her foot. That's my stuff. So you don't see her dancing. Right. Okay. So my next fit. Okay. So that's that night. Boom. So we're choosing this. Yeah, but leave it there. Cause that's basically like the day. This is fucking cute, though. When I pulled it out, I was like, "Oh, this is cute. That's sexy." Now the next thing is. We're going to be doing, for my outfit, I'm going to be going to a day party. Are you coming? Child, I told him he could have helped me. He ain't care. Uh-uh. <laughs> we not, uh, I don't help clean up no mess. How are you supposed to buy a bestie and you don't help? Is that what a best friend is supposed to do? Y'all games need to sponsor me because I buy so many blunts. I've been showing Tara how I've been trying to learn how to turn. Bitch, fuck it up. Throw it back us off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to learn how to twerk on my knees, and that's the hardest thing for me because my knees be hurting. <sighs> I need help before I go, for real. Yes, I want some help. <sighs> Just sit in the chair. I'll give it to you. All you gotta do is put it on the hanger for me. Hanger. Yes, I'll give you the hanger to put it on. Okay. Oh, we love a, a good man. A, a, a good man, Savannah. Savannah. A good man. <laughs> hey y'all. So basically, my best friend he left. Um, I did eat my meal prep. I gotta go downstairs and actually show y'all. And I'm watching this movie called Flight right now. It's actually really, really good. Really good. I'm oh like an hour and 31 minutes into it, so I'm super enjoying it. Also, I had an Amazon package come. Girl, I had a little bit of stuff happen. Like, these came. I don't remember. One of y'all told me to get these. When I tell you... So, the press ones I be showing y'all, was showing y'all the French tips. I was paying like $10 for them. Sometimes eight. I mean, $10, sometimes 12 And then on Amazon, they $10 too. So I had seen, somebody had told me about these and basically it is 300 nails for $35 and it's a super big deal because you get 15 on each strip, 15 different sizes. So I thought this was a big deal. Y'all see this? So I actually want to go ahead and put those on. And I'm actually going to. Probably. Probably tomorrow. Because right now I really just want to. Lay down. Figure out what I'm going to record. I need to pack my bag. Do stuff like that. You know. Um. I actually need to go put this food away though and take a bath so I can get in the bed. Because it is 1030. Oh yeah, it's 11. So, yeah. But, girl, why I got on the phone with somebody and they was like, oh my god, your hair, that's a cute bob. I'm like, this ain't no bob. Girl, why I took it upon myself to, girl, I chopped it even more. So I'm like, you called it a bob? Let me make sure you know it ain't no bob. So that's why my hair looks a little shorter. Cause like she chopped it more, but okay. Let me show y'all my meal prep. Let me show y'all my meal prep. So with this meal prep, she ended up making me shrimp and green beans. I think these are green peas or something like that. Green peas, sorry. And then also quinoa rice and broccoli. Also with carrots in there as well. I was like, this meal prep, the other one was cool, but this one way better. Like, shell, can't wait. Then this one is actually salmon, asparagus, and quinoa. Um, Cause I am trying to replace the rice, so I'm taking it down. And then this one is actually snapper, onions, asparagus, and quinoa. I'm like, Quinoa, quinoa, is it quinoa, quinoa, something like that. And then, um, yeah, so everything is pretty much the same. I got two snappers, two salmons. I ate one of the salmons today, but it was super good. 
Oh, and then she also gave me some tuna fish. Tuna fish. Oh, let me open it up. So I think I want to do a video with her for my next meal prep. So this is going to be tuna fish, um, cucumbers, broccoli, carrots, and mm, and boiled egg. Now with this one, I wanted to see. <laughs> I just bit that because I really wanted to see if it was giving like cooked carrot or it was giving like dry. I was watching this thing the other day and the lady was like, you know, God intended for us to have things differently. So to be closer to God, you should eat raw or food. Your food should be raw. I've been seeing a lot of stuff on TikTok, honestly. But I just bit because I was like, is this raw or is it not? But that's where that idea even came from for me to bite it. But yeah, food lately has been great. Super hungry. Let me show y'all. The one thing about me, I'm gonna drink that water. And one thing I love about Leah, honey, every time she come over here, she cleans my fridge right out. She be, she don't be playing that. She be like, oh no, boo. We gonna get all that together. I even told y'all the way I know her is because my ex and her is cousins. So we just, we used to hang together back in the day all the time. We even went to college together for a little bit. Cause y'all know my college is only like in well my the college I graduated from is in Maryland. So she was at that college as well. But that's Brittany's cousin. So we've always been really cool. So honey she definitely came through and showed out. She just moved down here and I'm so glad about it because She's just a sweet person overall and such a cool individual. And genuine. You don't mean meeting a lot of genuine people, you know what I'm saying? But um I want some water. I am thirsty. Mouth been dry. I don't even know why. What is this? So I'm probably about to go to bed. Unless something else happened, I'm going to bed. But yeah, I cut this hair right more. Because I'm like, girl, you ain't going to get it twisted with me. This ain't no bob. It's giving shortcut. <laughs> but yes, okay. I'm going to see y'all probably tomorrow. Good night. Okay. So, hey, y'all. How y'all feeling? So, right now I'm about to do my nails. I was going to do it the gel X way. But I chose not to because I felt like I just didn't want to. So, I'm actually going to put these on. Girl, when I tell you, these came in so clutch. But first things first, I'm going to clean off my nails. They definitely need to be clean. And just do that. But, honey, let me talk to you about it. So, while I was on TikTok, well, me and one of my friends, we had a discussion last night. Because y'all know, um, or I don't know if I even vlogged yesterday much, but... Leah came over here to pretty much um, help me with something out. Help me out with something. But, you know, me and one of my friends had a discussion. And basically the discussion consisted of, like, I had seen something on TikTok, right? And the thing I had seen on TikTok was this lady was in a domestic violence situation with her, I guess, baby daddy. And then apparently he had passed away. So then, or she escaped him. I see, it was on TikTok. So if you've seen it on TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. So basically, she was with a baby daddy. She escaped in a domestic violence situation. I think she like snuck out when he was asleep or something or something like that. I don't know. But then he passed away. And she said that like the the... Basically, the domestic violence situation was so traumatic, like, it made her really kind of, like, not resent her kids, but I guess she was looking at them differently. So, when he died, apparently, his family was like, you know, 
we would love to raise the kids because we don't have nothing left for him. And the mother let them raise, let his family raise the kids, but then she never came back and got the kids. Like, never stayed in touch, nothing. So, years later, the lady is like 30 years old. This is one of the children that she gave to their dad's family. And they wanted to reach out to her. And she said, you know, respect. She wrote a letter back to them. And she said, respectfully, I hope this is enough closure, closure for you. But I guess she's saying that she kind of put this situation in a box, closed it, and wanted it over there and wanted it to be left alone from it. So I was asking my friend, like, do you think she's wrong for that? Like, do you think, and the, of course the kids, they're 30 now, but they were super upset because it's like, you know, your mom, you haven't talked to your mom, haven't seen your mom. Yes, yeah, she gave you to your dad's family, but it's like, you just haven't had any type of communication with her. And when you do reach out, she's talking about like, you know, I hope this is enough closure for you, but I have moved past that. I left it alone. I guess the domestic violence was super like, you know, traumatic to her. So she's saying like she's moved past it. She wants to leave it alone. She's left that life behind her. And she saying this closure, I hope is enough for you as in this letter. Do y'all feel like she's wrong? I told my friend, you know, honestly, I've been put in situations where I feel like people do messed up stuff, but at the end of the day, does that really make them wrong? Or is it just we think they're morally wrong because of the way we're brought up, you know? Because I think technically, you know, the traditional story of a mom gives the child up, the mom is still looking for the kid, the kid wants to be reunited, and later on in life, they want to have a relationship. But that's not how everybody's relationship with so my friend was saying that the mom is wrong. She said that the, she should put that to the side. She should at least meet the children, you know, because she had them and this, that, and this, that. And I understand, like, when you become a parent, it's like you do have a right to make sure they're okay. And you also are supposed to, I personally feel like sometimes you possibly could owe a person a conversation but then it gets tricky because the mom is she just being strong on setting her boundaries up she don't want to deal with that life and open those doors up and is that wrong so you know we was having a whole conversation about it because i was thinking like do y'all think the mom is wrong or do y'all not i personally feel like it could go either way the mom could be wrong just because it's like you brought these kids in here, so it's like you do have some type of obligation to them, I feel like. But then it's also like, is it wrong to take the mom's choice because now she's a mother? You know, and we were just talking about it. But I was saying, I see it from both perspectives. I feel like one thing I've learned since I've gotten older is that, like, it can be... Two things can be right in a situation. It doesn't have to necessarily be one is right, one is wrong. Y'all probably, what are you doing? I am trying to clean the glue off here. But, yeah, I was trying to figure that out. I was like, do I feel as though the mother is wrong? Hmm. I don't know. It's a tough one. I'm really glad about these press ones because, number one, they're going to make putting my nails on so much easier because now I already know exactly where finger is coming from. You know what I'm saying? Look at these. It already, the nail bed already looks Poppington. Oh, yes. And it's right my color. So, yeah, y'all comment below and let me know what you think about the mom and stuff. And do you think that the mom is wrong? Like, do you feel like because she had the kids, she should give them the obligation of meeting them and talking to them and building a relationship with them? Or do you think that she's right to stand her boundaries of like you know i did this i did that but i closed that door i don't want to deal with that no more i've moved past it and i don't really want a relationship with y'all she did say in a letter she cares about them she definitely says that um she knows they're brilliant people but that's as much as she, that's as much as she wants to give honey i was like that's a tough pill to swallow for sure for sure because it's just like she. And let me tell you something, when I put these nails on, I also make sure that I kind of go, 
I'm not a person that goes through and be like, oh my God, let me see if I can find the smallest nail. No, I go through and see what's the biggest I can go that'll be comfortable on my finger. Cause I really like square, chunky nails. And when I say chunky, I'm just talking about the shape, square. So I don't want them to be all super like thinny, thin, thin on my fingers. Like, no, that's not what I really like. like my nails to be more so like, you know. Honey, these are sticking. They ain't playing no games. So we'll see. These is definitely cheaper than my other ones. So we're just giving them a bye. But yeah, I wanted to know what y'all thought about that. But right now, I do have some errands to do. I want to go get my feet done if I have some time to do that. I'm not sure if I will, though. Then I also would like to... Um, I would like to actually pack my bag tonight because me and my best friend already picked the outfit so i just need to pack them then somebody said that they released the movie um they released power on so power is i guess done i assume it didn't have a new episode this weekend but um she they decided to release it on freaking youtube i don't know how or who um so, I was trying to get over there. That's HBO. Somebody told me I should get on Showtime. I think it's it's something about. Then another thing I was watching was was it? Girls sucking must have survived a plane crash to wild in each other. Yellow jackets. Hmm, is that good? So Vince and Horror. I don't need nothing like that. Not the affair. But yeah. So I have to find me a movie and continue. But I lost some more pounds. Girl, the weight is like shitting off. Probably because it's super clean eating I'm doing. If you're having a problem with losing weight, one thing I can definitely recommend is for you to meal prep. That is going to eat your body inside out and stick to it. Like last night we went out to this taco spot. I've been there. It's called La Chung Chinga. Chaganda, something like that. Chaganda, girl, please, y'all know how to pronounce anything wrong. It, I've been there before too, but um, it was so packed, and my friend wanted to get food, and she got her food, and she was like, "You want something?" I was like, "Nope." Like literally, I have been super strict on the eating because I'm like, you know, when I go to Miami, I know I'm gonna eat. So, baby, don't worry about it. Dance for me. What is this? I feel like I tried to start watching this movie and it was super ghetto. But I'ma see. Because it says an exotic dancer falls for a politician girl, BT Plus. Let's see. <laughs> oh Lord. perfect so i still have this and this is like the little extra ones and i actually ugh, i actually love this for travel too because like when i tell you it was so easy to do my nails because literally they was all here so i just did this one then i just did his whole hand and i was like okay well on the other side clearly it would be this 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 and then when i travel with them i could just literally put them in and they already are put together so i be like okay i need these two nails let me just take them off and replace so girl definitely was a vibe um, I need to post them on my actual, my page. So, I highly suggest these. Now, I've only had them on for like a couple minutes. Um, but I will for sure give y'all an update on how they do within like the next, I guess, couple days. 
or so. Now I just called my nail salon to see if they had any open availability for walk-ins today and they said they did. But as of right now, I don't know if I really wanna go get my nails done again. I mean my toes pretty much. I don't know if I wanna go do that so. I might not. So let's go focus on putting all this stuff up and then putting this back. Right now I am cooking Denim's food. Well, I've already cooked Denim's food. Um, I just cut it up. Denim now eats this. I seen this dog that lived till that she was 30. And they said the reason the dog lived so long is because they gave it human food. And even my mom's dog at our house before it passed, he lived so long, like 15 years. And I think it's because of the food. Now, I just make chicken breast. I don't put anything in it. I just boil it. And then after I boil it, I take the chicken water and actually make rice. I try to switch it back to regular dog food. Did not work, honey, because literally it just messed with her bowels she eats all her food she actually loves it and made that expensive so i just do it once a week so this is our little reset and girl she's over here stalking me where you at waiting but she's already ate today but it's no getting around doing this because when she smells it she just comes so that's what i'm doing right now Girl, I thought I was about to come up here and hang some hangers. Say, hey, Winkies and uncles. Hello. Say, hey. <laughs> but, girl, they got like four hangers. I don't know what I thought I was about to do. Sorry, Denim. So, I'm about to do this. I'm still watching this little movie over here, though. But I'm about to put this stuff up in my closet. And then, um... Once I put this stuff up, then I should be ready to pack my bag. Girl, I did not go get my toes done. I'm probably going to go tomorrow. I just didn't have it in me.